Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Washington, Ohio, at the local city hall, where a frauditor decides to make a total nuisance of himself by going into an area where there's a lot of confidential information, and, well, he's asked to leave, and, well, he has the usual frauditor spiel, but it really doesn't work out for him, and he ends up getting himself arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This is income tax. Hello. Hi. How y'all doing? Good. How are you? Not bad, thank you. How can I help you? Just taking some pictures and video. Some of the stuff in here is confidential. Okay. <laughs> What's it for? What's it for? And the onus would be on you to keep it confidential. Yeah, it sounds like you don't have an original thought in your head, nor does it sound like you have a thought going through your head. I mean, this is a tax office where there are uh, tax documents out with people's private and confidential information out there, and you're not going to make it easy on these people to, well, help guard against the theft of people's confidential information out there. I mean, come on now, dude. Uh, as if it's not bad enough that uh, people's uh, information gets stolen all the time. You have to be a contributor to that by filming offices like this. But given from what I've seen of this video already, I don't think he's really comprehending it too much. I think he's more of a follower kind of frauditor. He's not really all that intelligent when you look throughout the video. Yeah, but who, who are you with? Myself. Yeah, you can't do that in here, okay? Yeah, I sure can. No, no, sir. There's confidential information yeah, we'll in here. We'll get in here. trouble. There's what? there's documents on the counters that have people's names and social securities that you could zoom in on. And you can turn that over. No, I need you to put that away. Yeah. Sir, I need to ask you to walk out of this office, please. I will when I'm done getting my shots. No, I need you to do it now. Please. I need you to please leave. Yeah, I will. Sir. Uh, there's right. no recording. Yeah, when well, I'm done getting my pictures. No, sir, there's confidential information yeah, in here you that you can cannot be. Up. No, you, can cover it you up. can't cover it up because if you zoom in on it at home, you have people's social security numbers and other information that you cannot right. have. Right, and you can, like I said, you can turn it over. The onus is on you no. to keep that information no. private, not me. It is your responsibility. I'm sorry, ma'am, but uh, it's, it appears that this uh, idiot's uh, elevator doesn't exactly go all the way to the top floor the way he's talking. I'm surprised he even understands the word onus. He's just probably parroting what the other frauditors usually say and think that it will work out for him. I mean, that's the way it seems at this point. He's just mimicking the other frauditors and hoping something sticks. But uh, none of it will stick in this particular occasion. But that part will come very soon, and it's uh, very hilarious to watch. <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, you've, you've spun around a couple times since I've been here. Yeah, you got and it was more than that. Who are you with, sir? Are you with he's, the he's with myself. Himself. I'm with myself. But what's your purpose? To exercise my sir, right to you be able to take pictures and videos. Dinesh, 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 just come on. In public places. <laughs> 
Dude, you need to learn the public forums doctrine. This is clearly not a traditional public forum. If you want to go film out in public, go out on the sidewalk, go to a park, go to a beach and do public photography there. In fact, there's a lot of people that like to do public photography on beaches, and they make quite a bit of money doing that. But I guess it just doesn't get the kind of drama that you want, does it? Is this not publicly accessible? The they public, are. the public doesn't oh, come in here. Hey. In here if I can uh, see it, I can record uh, it. No, sir. Yes, phone. ma'am. Just, uh, you can't <laughs> trespass <laughs> the eyes. Man, oh man, I really hate that maxim these frauditors have come up with. You can't trespass the eyes, dude. Your body can be trespassed. Therefore, your eyes can be trespassed. Didn't really think of that, now did you? No, of course not. You're just parroting what the other frauditors are doing and making yourself look like a complete imbecile in the process. I'm not going to argue with you. Good, because you don't know if you've been misinformed. If you have confidential information in here, you might want to turn that over. Well, he's in, he's in our office right now, in where you normally sit. <laughs> yeah, it's publicly accessible. Mm-hmm. Video. Okay. All righty. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. The sheriff's deputy's already hey, been outside. Is this not City Hall? This is City Hall. And it's not publicly accessible? City Hall is always publicly accessible. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. So I should leave a public building because why? I don't know if you're allowed to report when there's confidential material. Right, and, and the onus is on you to keep that information confidential. Well, we you can turn it over. You know, but as far as somebody coming in and taking pictures and video, it's not illegal, sir. Yeah. Am I arguing with you? It's a constitutionally protected Just activity. You zoom in on people's desk and take if, confidential information. If I can walk up to your desk and I can look at this piece of paper, mm -hmm. I can record that piece of paper. You, that what the eyes can see, the camera can see. It's not against the law. Okay. It's not illegal. Okay. Okay. I do this all over the place. Do you enjoy making people uncomfortable? Quite, you know, your comfort doesn't trump my civil rights. Yeah, your uneducated mentality is definitely showing through. You've been watching too many uh, First Amendment auditor videos who also get the terms constitutional rights and civil rights mixed up because civil rights are laws that try to prevent discrimination based on ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, that kind of thing. It's not what you're talking about. We have five elements of the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United okay, States. Speech, do you, do you, press. I just ask, do you not mind making people just personally feel uncomfortable? Why are you uncomfortable? Aren't there cameras uh, in here? The, the girls across the hall were uncomfortable. Yeah, they just, us. they didn't know. They didn't know, and I'm surprised there's not training on mm -hmm. journalists, for auditors, folks that come in and take mm -hmm. pictures and videos. I was yeah. being very no, quiet. Just, uh, Dude, there's a distinction between professional journalism and uh, First Amendment auditors. Professional journalists don't just walk in on a situation like this. They know to go to the media department and take care of 
business there, not just walk in where there's confidential information sitting on a desk somewhere and try to record it. That's what First Amendment auditors try to do. In fact, I'm willing to bet a good portion of First Amendment auditors would uh, moonlight as, a uh, well, identity thieves, seeing as how they have no issues with filming people's private information. That's just me asking you a personal question. If, if, you know, you, you've made them personally uncomfortable. Not so much professionally uncomfortable, personally uncomfortable. Right. And I'm just asking you, why do you push that? I mean, I understand the rights to... I walked in, I said, hello. They got bent out of shape. And I tried to explain to them, ma'am... The onus isn't on me to keep anything that's on your desk confidential. The onus is on you. You can take whatever papers are out and turn them over. It's just the same, sir. If I walked in there and I didn't have this camera in my hand and I walked up to that desk and I happened to look down at Social Security, you know, how do you know I don't have a photographic memory? Hey, McKay from the sheriff's office, you need to leave now. Hey. You need to leave now. I'm not going to discuss this. If you want to go to the, fire, or the sheriff's office and get arrested, Stay here for being in you a got, public. You got the uh, for being you got a, the opportunity to leave now. For being, in, I'm not discussing it. For being in a public, get public. out of the building hey, now. Hey, 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 go! Don't assault me. Go! Don't I'm assault me. You. I'm telling you, sir, leave. Please. You want to go to the sheriff's Take office? Your hands off me. Do you want to go to the sheriff's sir, office? I'm in trouble. Go. Take your hands off. Me. I said you're leaving. Take your hands Don't off me. me. Don't push me down the stairs. Don't push me down the stairs. You're going to jail. You're under arrest. For what? Disorderly conduct. I, I ordered you to leave and you didn't. A public building. Turn around. A public building? Turn around. Put a your, public building? You're, now you're going to get it for... Sir. You're going to get arrested for resisting arrest. I wasn't resisting. What, what was I resisting? I'm in a public place. You're not complying. Put your hands on the wall. <laughs> I'll stay right there. I'm in a public place. Oh, yeah. Parroting the uh, misconceptions of other frauditors makes it, uh, well, where you can't be trespassed from public property. Uh, dude, uh, you can be trespassed from any property in any state if you, uh, well, are being disorderly like you were here. I mean, come on now, dude. You just can't walk into here and act like you own the place, which you don't. What's your name? Deputy McKay. What's your badge number? Uh, 206. Thank you, Deputy. <clears throat> and so, I'm not allowed to be in a public building? Yeah. Who do you want? I need 911. Okay. Tell them to send a deputy. Will do. So, just tell them. I thought you said. Turn around. Put your hands on the wall. I thought you said. I said. I thought you said you were a deputy. I am. Now you've assaulted a police officer. You attacked me. Well, disorderly conduct and assaulting a police officer. You're really racking up the charges right there, dude. Congratulations. You're a freaking moron. But guess what? The local jail has a special place for you with Bubba and the boys. And I'm sure they'll welcome a moron like you because they could always have a use for you in their little inner circle. But we won't get into that. You'll find out soon enough. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro?
Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?